We're on like a side trail. The cabin's over there. Are we at the end? No, but look, there's the cabin. Uh -huh. And we're over here. So somewhere we made a wrong turn. You gotta go back and then hang a left. I guess. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to Coyote Canyon Road. This is gonna lead us into the Coyote Canyon area of uh, Anza Brigo Desert State Park. So, should be pretty cool. What's gonna happen here is we're, we're starting up here in the hills where it's all shrubby and stuff. And uh, by the time we're done, we should kind of be in almost desert-like terrain. So it'll be pretty cool to kind of see the, the change here. Well, I'm out here today with uh, Jesse, right there, taking photos, and uh, the rest of the Flying Monkey crew. A couple of new guys I've met today. A couple of people that I've ridden with before. Well, we've been a really, really cool ride so far. We got to see some of the wildflowers and stuff blooming out here in Southern California. Apparently that's a thing. Watch for dogs. Is that what that said? Watch for coyotes. Oh, mud. Very cool. And the Brego. I love Anza Brego. And I've only seen parts of it. So when I looked this trail up to kind of figure out where we were going, we're heading down to a place called Bailey's Cabin. And uh, what's going on here? And uh, I guess prior to the mid 80s, you used to be able to take this road all the way down into Anza Borrego. But now it's a it's an out and back as things are here in California and I'm sure a lot of other places where uh, trails and routes get closed. I guess there's actually like some oasis and stuff down here. So it should be pretty cool. After riding in the snow this last Wednesday, the sand doesn't seem so bad. scared there. Not gonna lie. Follow Jesse here for a little bit. The mighty KLRs. Dun, 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 dun. You know what, I'm gonna be real honest. I was not a real big fan of the KLR for a while. And uh, it has really grown on me. I actually really like how it looks now. I think the utility of it is pretty freaking awesome. I wouldn't mind owning one, to be honest. I wouldn't mind owning one. We're heading down into the canyon, like I said. At the very end of this is a little cabin called Bailey's Cabin. It's about six miles or so. That should be pretty cool. video is definitely more of a destination style ride, which is pretty cool. I haven't actually done one of these in a while where the ride was to a specific spot and uh, just kind of get to document the trip a little bit. <laughs> this is going to be fun coming back up though. <laughs> yeah. I think coming up is going to be uh, 
entertaining. <laughs> to say the least. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, what a what a cool difference coming from the the shrubs up there. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> down to this more desert style terrain. Oh, this is awesome. Now, in the sandiness, the sandy sand. Oh, almost fell. Go for it. Nice. This is probably one of the cooler routes that I've been on, actually. I've been on so many cool routes, so it's really hard to tell. And that's one of the things I love about riding so much. There's so many different types of terrain. Different types of challenges, different types of places that we can go. Nice! squirrely there. This is where I still struggle just a little bit is in deep sand. If I stand, it's a bit more manageable. Doesn't help that my rear tire is like completely bald. Ah, Jesus Christ. Come on. So a few things I've learned about riding in sand. Number one, look as far ahead as you possibly can. If you start trying to focus on, you know, individual grooves and individual little sand lips and every little kind of mismatch thing in the trail, you're gonna end up not, not doing so well. Second thing I've learned is to get your weight back. If you can stand, standing helps. Uh, right now I, I just decided to sit down to convert, convert, uh, to conserve some energy and uh, getting the weight all the way back on the rear tire. Uh, that way your front end just kind of floats. And you can just kind of steer with your body. Steer with the rear. Oh, almost went into a cactus. <laughs> this is where having nice knobby tires really helps. Another cactus. Ah. Oh. Another thing that helps too is to keep your speed up. Ah, uh. oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I guess my bag wasn't close because everything fell out. That's cool. Oh, my phone. That's awesome. My waters. Uh. Yeah. That was cool. Don't wave at anybody. <laughs> it's another lesson. Keep your bag closed.
the Africa twin down here. That's pretty impressive. What's the other guy on the... On the KLR? Yeah. Sal. Yeah. I don't know. He didn't seem too happy about all the sand. That's sand from work. Yeah. I put my hand up to the Africa Twin and the other bike that came by. I put my hand up to wave at him. I was like, ah! <laughs> and then this was open. Everything fell out. Oh. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I guess it's uh, a lot of this. This will be like a paradise for Garrett. Garrett loves this kind of stuff. I don't mind it, but it's not my favorite type of terrain. But I do, li I do like riding it when I haven't ridden it in a while. I have a feeling that one time I went down though is not going to be the only time I go down. <laughs> oh, this is good though. Good practice. So especially good because I don't usually have like really good dirt tires. Actually, that TKC80 in the back is looking pretty bald these days. Oh, almost hit that rock. That would have hurt. Not too shabby in the sandy. now a little bit that's nice ah. 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 a little too hot <laughs> all right I knew that wouldn't be the only time I went down We're back in it again. Oh, these butterflies. It's another thing going on right now, too. Big butterfly migration, I guess. They're everywhere. Whoa. Man, as soon as, as, soon as I lay off the throttle. Oh my God. As soon as I lay off the throttle, it's... It's no bueno. Traction! Where's the traction? There's no traction anywhere. Huh? We're on like a side trail. The cabin's over there. Are we at the end? No, but look, there's the cabin, uh -huh. and we're over here. So somewhere we made a wrong turn. We gotta go back and then hang a left. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Where what? Huh? Want to go there? Yeah, I think we missed it. Where's the cabin at? Right back here. Right back here. We missed right it. Back is, I call it the Tanned uh, Forest. Uh huh. And there's a road off to the left. Off to the left. Right, it's right there. Okay. We it's actually technically the area that's closed. Oh, okay. I just there's actually a marker right down there, but we came through here late last night, and we were just we were just retracing. We were, yeah. Where the hell did we miss up? Okay. It's actually, an area that's closed. But yeah, the cabin's just right up there. Okay. Cool. Oh, Thanks. Yeah, you go that way. To the left. There's huh. a little embankment. It's right there. Okay. Cool. Thanks. You too.
I'm not sure. It would seem that way. Okay, sounds like a I'm gonna call it a smokestack. We just finished up here at the cabin. Now we're headed back. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. Now we're gonna try to head back up through the canyon. Uh, we lost one of the guys. And so we're hoping he went back. We went back to look for him. He wasn't where we could see him. So we're all heading back for him right now. They're heading and they're gonna head back up. That's gonna be kind of interesting, that ride back up. All right, guys, well. We are nearing the end of our trip in the, uh, what's this place called? Coyote Canyon. And so I figure right now would be a good time to uh, bid you guys farewell. And what I'll do is, is I'll put the uphill section in a little clip of its own. Yeah, I remember coming through here. Uh, sound good? Oh, that was a big bump. So anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you're new here, please subscribe. We like to do adventures like this on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you along for the ride. So until next time guys, be sure to have fun, take care, and ride safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tell them be sure to get out there and have adventures of your own. Nicely done. And I will see you guys next time. Later! Oh, Sandy. Sandy, Sam! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, Please let me know down in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button. If you are new here, please subscribe to see more adventures just like this one. For information about my riding gear or the various ways you can help support the channel, please check out the links below or head over to www.eachadventure.com. I'll see you in the next one.